any specific proposal against it other than maybe some broader language that attacks the issue without naming prairie chickens and sage grouse and in the previous one wolves is the same thing as more of a general theme of the platform and taking away that federal overreach than getting to a list of i think at any point in time they're reviewing 700 different species to go into either a threatened or endangered mode and that and each one of those i am sure creates its own particularized set of circumstances in its own particularized environment and so i just get concerned when we start adding um, specific species and keep going and going and going thanks uh, uh, gentleman from california and then we'll go up there uh thank you senator the um the pro I, I just to reiterate what this gentleman just said the problem here is we're really getting into a lot of state and local issues that that would be a good place for those issues would be in some in some legislation and not necessarily in the party platform right we're not the party of the you know the anti prairie chickens it's and there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's good. But I think the idea of sticking with uh, more general philosophies of the party, more direction for the party, and a little less what's going on in my state or locality would be uh, a good direction to take early on. Because we are getting kind of particular here with, uh, with the things we're targeting. And I'm sure we all have things we would love to target. But it will be a very long meeting if we keep doing this. The delegate from Michigan followed by the delegate from Nevada. Ms. Sean Maddock from Michigan, and I'm in agreement to oppose the listing of uh, the prairie chickens and the sage grouse. I can't believe that we have 700 other animals, and, and I would think that to be really Republican, maybe we should talk about uh, eliminating the ESA. Uh, the, 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 de the delegate from Nevada.